try not to talk too loud into this. I'm not sure how it projects. My name is John Blanchard. I'm a police officer by trade. I've been working for Warrington Township for about 13 years now. Um, during that 13 year time, 10 years of that is on the South Central Bucks Emergency Response Team, their SWAT team, for lack of a better way to put it. <clears throat> um, so over those number of years, I've developed some leadership skills, decision-making properties that I think could be unique. Um, I, I'm the candidate that I would say is closest to the community. And what I mean when I say that is that when people are having problems, issues, they need assistance, positive or negative, who do they call? They call the police department. And guys that are trained like me come out to the house and they try and mediate people through their everyday lives, their everyday problems. Decisions need to be made. People need to be looked in the eye at the time that the problem is occurring and a decision has to be made and explained to them in a way that they understand it. And I've been doing that for close to 17 years all told now. Um, I live in Tinicum Township, Ottsville, for those of you that may be from up that way. I've been there 10 years. I've been married to the same wonderful woman for 15 years, and I have two wonderful children, 11 and 13 years old, both Palisades School District students. <clears throat> I've been involved in the youth sports program for a number of years, coaching soccer, baseball, football. So I'm in touch with the people in the community as well. I've had hundreds of district court appearances and continue to appear in district court. My most recent appearance was probably a week ago. So my experience with the district court level is very frequent. My basic position is this. The district court level, as has been said before, can be the community's one and only experience with the court system. So I think it's extremely important for someone to be able to walk into court, a real person, speak in real plain language with the confidence of knowing that they are going to be heard the same way as anyone else. Fairness, common sense, community values. Those are the important things that need to come down to district court and the judge that you select to give your vote. It's as simple as that. Education is fantastic, experience is fantastic, but the fact remains that if you don't choose a candidate that's gonna apply common sense and community values to their judiciating, then you've defeated the purpose. And I believe that I'm the candidate that best brings along those qualities. Mr. Gambardella spoke of, uh, of some of the experiences he had, and I made a promise to him that I would clarify a small problem. The voter's guide, those of you that get the intelligencer, lists me with an education background of Dickinson School of Law and Temple University. Dickinson School of Law, I went and was educated for the Deputy Sheriff's Academy, the Police Academy for Deputy Sheriffs. They certify you in civil process and criminal process, criminal arrests and, and uh, filing criminal complaints, serving levies on persons and sheriff sales and things of that nature. Temple University was where I went to the police academy, which is what's required in the state to become a police officer and start your career. I did not obtain a degree from either of those schools, and I am not a lawyer. Okay, let me be clear about that, I am not a lawyer, okay? I made that promise to Mr. Gambardella and I don't go back on my promises. So I wanted to make that clear so there's no confusion. I did not receive degrees from either of those schools and don't claim to and I am not a lawyer, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, um, Mr. Gambardella mentioned his prosecution of Robert Floor. Um, that, was, that was a sad day for those of us in the police world. Um, I was on the, my SWAT team, my unit was the group that arrested Mr. Floor, caught him in the, um, in the parking garage of the, of the hospital. We caught him and uh, I guess enabled Mr. Gambardella to, to prosecute him and he explained what the end result of that was and I appreciate that. I was also assigned <coughs> to the Honor Guard unit um, 
that uh, laid Officer Brian Gregg to rest for his family. So uh, I come to the table with all kinds of experiences from all different areas. And I hope that uh, some of the information that I provided to you tonight, if it doesn't apply to you specifically because of where you may live, that you may know somebody that lives in the district that covers the 10 municipalities, the largest geographic district in the county, and uh, would pass the word along and say a couple of kind words about me. Thank you very much for your time and have a good night.